Charlie Raider. Four and four versus 15 and four. All the experience goes the way of Raider. Four years the older is Corey Hill, two inches the taller. Both men weighed in at 169.5 and a huge five inch reach advantage coming the way of Corey Hill. Raider, a blue belt in BJJ. He won the Louisiana Open and the Louisiana State Tournament. In the striking, he'll look to get off his left hook here tonight. And a two month training camp working on striking, wrestling defense, and worked his hands a lot more. And wrestled his whole life. Took up mixed martial arts in 2003 and had been to find a sport that was as close to wrestling as he could get, but with a lot more competitive options. And here we have him in the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight is being brought to you tonight by Jackson's Nightclub, 601 South Harbor Island Boulevard, next to the Western Hotel. It is the host of the official XFC 15 Tribute After Party! So join me, the Cage Dolls, and all the fighters tonight, right after the show, at Tampa's premier nightclub, Jackson's, the only place to party. Right now, let's meet our fighters. This man is a wrestler. He stands in at 6 feet 4, and he weighed 169.45 pounds. He brings a professional record of 4 wins and 4 defeats. Tonight he represents KO Revolution, and he fights out of Brooksville and Spring Hill, Florida. Please welcome Corey! opponent he stands across the cage in the red corner. He's a kickboxer and a wrestler. He stands in at six feet two inches tall. He weighed in at 169.5 pounds. Tonight he brings into the cage a professional record of 15 wins against four defeats. He represents Power MMA and American Top Team out of Port St. Lucie, Florida. And tonight he fights out of New Orleans, Louisiana. Please welcome Charlie, the Superstar Raider. Our referee in charge, Chris Adams. Fighters, to the center of the cage, please. All right, gentlemen, remember the rules we went over earlier. Obey my commands at all times and act like the professionals that you are. Any questions from Blue? Any questions from Red? Hook them up and let's do this. Final instructions from Chris Adams. We are ready for three rounds of action. Corey Hill and Charlie Raider at 170. Corey Hill comes in at plus 190. Raider the favorite at minus 250. Thanks to Nick Kalikas for those odds. It's all part of XFC 15 tribute from the St. Pitt Times Forum in Tampa, Florida. Are you ready? Fight! Michael Chabello, Frank Trick with you. The tall, gangly figure that Corey Hill cuts. Just a beam hole. Use those legs for two picks. <laughs> uh, one of the things he said he wanted to do is add a little more muscle and a little more density to his body, so hopefully that leg break would never happen again. Looking for a takedown early here. It couldn't affect it though, Corey Hill. Short knee and a caught right on the groin. He grimaced, but the referee didn't see it. Chops down for a double leg now, does Corey. Nice, nice reach with Corey Hill. The problem is that he's so long with his arms, he doesn't really have to bend his legs much to get hold of legs. So he has to spend a lot of energy for his takedowns. Inside half guard. Top position here for Corey Hill. He worked his way to a submission here, Corey Hill. Raider. Controlling the posture, reaching up around the back of the neck here, coming down the head of Corey, who tries to posture up, posts up on the right arm. You see Raiders locking up that left arm, Corey can't get the elbows off. Just a little bit of keeping your hand on the elbow doesn't allow you to lift it up and bring it back down on it. There's a lot of pressure still with it, but at least you can't cut your elbow. Trying to snake the right hand to the jawline there, Corey Hill still stuck inside the half guard. Look at the pass at the moment though, though he has got that leg hooked up by Raider. Looking for the elbows now, trying to follow the forehand. And Corey is all bone and sinew, but there's really not, no meat on him anywhere, so when he hits him, you get a hit with a bone. Just a little bit of skin over the top of it, so almost every kick or every elbow or knee is his ability to cut you open. It looks like one of his elbows already did cut his head open a little bit. 
happy have that hard wrist here. Hill then breaks free and drops the elbow between the arms. Three minutes remaining in the first round. Right in front of our commentary position now. He's going to measure another elbow off the left. It looks like here, Corey Hill. Gets off a hammer fist strike off the right hand. There is some swelling to the top of the head. Nice little lump that's popping up there. Like a golf ball popping out of the skin of Raider, courtesy of the elbows. Oh, and he's trying to rake his ear off of the elbow. I like that, Frank. It's nasty. Nice, solid pressure. Pushing down that elbow, grinding out the body. A typical grind with the other hand. Like every time there's a position, a spot he can hit, he's of course, taking full advantage of it. Now, if this kicks up, Raider's going to have ears that look like yours, Frank. No one can have ears like me. That's I, I bought mine anyway. I got the only pair. <laughs> But we're trying to get the match in second. Trying to work on that ear again here, Corey Hill. Oh, Raider's going to have ears. Two minutes, five remaining. This crowd getting a little vocal. They want to see some more action from both men. But Corey Stiles, he, he slows the pace down. He takes complete control and he grinds on you. From a fan standpoint, sometimes it's difficult to see what he's doing. Obviously, I'll see the commentary because we, we have a great shot. So we know what he's doing. We see what's going on. Corey is digging this guy's body apart. He's all these punches hurt. Every elbow is causing damage. Raider is going to find a way to get off the cage here and get back to his feet because Corey Hill is just dominating. Hill. Very proficient wrestler, multiple high school state wrestling champion, two-time college champion, wrestling for Upper Iowa University. Knows how to keep an opponent on their back. Drops the right hand into the lower left rib cage. Forearm across the jaw here. He's crossed by Farns of Raider. Raider chance to scoot out the back. Gets locked up. The arm is in there for Corey Hill. What can you do from here, Frank? Really just gonna keep sliding his body up. Oh, no, it's not. I was going to say, all he had to do is slide his feet back a little bit further, drop his hip down because his arms are so long, he was already caught, already had his head caught. There's no